Hi everyone, welcome to another video and today, of course you can see at the top of the video we are going to have a review on Jupe or Yelp Om Ice uh, This one is classed as a woody aromatic and um, we'll get onto that in a bit uh, It's a reasonably new release of um, 2020 so it's about a year old now and I had I purchased this new enough on its release um, and now of course it's about a year after so Let's quickly have a look at the bottle. Now it looks, I've got the, what, what is it, the, let me give a second, uh, 2.7 ounce or 80 mil. I don't know if it comes in bigger than that, but this is what I've got. And it does look like the other well, Yelp bottles. If I get another Yelp bottle, you'll see it's a bigger bottle, but you get the idea. It, it is in the same, the, the same bottle. But this one, a yeah, perfectly clear glass and uh, black atomizer with a black cap so it is a little different uh, but it looks pretty much the same just uh, information on the bottom the typical uh, Yelp Om uh, bottle but you've got the Yelp Om ice there in black uh, to match the, the cap okay so I'm going to go quickly through the notes that's been listed for it uh, top notes of plum, bergamot, clary sage and grapefruit. The mid is orange blossom, tobacco and cardamom. And the base uh, said to just have sandalwood. So on the note breakdown, it uh, seems to be quite a simple fragrance. Um, now I've got a spray on this at the back of my hand, which I've held on for roughly about half an hour. And on the beginning, uh, when you first spray this it's very fresh you get a lot well I get actually is a lot of orange blossom the bergamot uh, the plum and a little undertone of like a that, that sage like a slight herbalness but for the most part I would say in order of what the, I can smell it orange blossom orange blossom is the big note in this uh, yeah, it sort of overshadows everything uh, then the plum and the bergamot with a, again little undertone of the uh, the sage or this uh, slight herbal side to it so yes on on the top um it's quite quite in your in your face you know it's quite strong when you first when you first apply it and that the orange blossom mixed with that little bit of like a plum vibe is actually quite nice um uh, the the bergamot you don't really get the bergamot but it sort of like freshens everything up a little bit because orange blossom in its core can be quite um, uh, quite thick, quite cloying, uh, especially when it's done like this. Now again, like a lot of Yopom or Jupe fragrances, um, they do splash in a touch of sweetness, which is what they've done here. Now it's, this isn't a fresh and sweet, like a lot of modern fragrances that are coming out that are fresh and very sweet. Uh, a combination that, that really doesn't work for me at all now they've done a nice freshness in here but uh, just a touch of sweetness is just a little bit there uh, and, and it and actually works well with this um, orange blossom and plum orange blossom itself has just a little touch of sweetness anyway um, but added to this plum this little under, under sage bit um, it really works now as it starts to dry down uh, the little touch of sweetness tends to die off a little bit so it's not quite as um, sweet as when you first spray it even though it's not that sweet anyway um, it just really dials down and it's still there but that sweetness dials down and it's good because um, it, it, it sort of suits it as it dries down there's a little sprinkle of sweetness but as it dries down a little bit more of a I would say like a herbal side of this starts coming up a little bit with a a touch of floral and a little bit of manly floral, nothing feminine, and a just ever so slight powderiness when this dries down. Um, if even if you don't like powdery scents, this would be fine. I think um, it's more if you put your skin to your nose, you get like a, a slight powdery vibe. Uh, but in the air, not so much. But it is there. Um, and it, it it pretty much smells the same as um, when you first spray it to when it dries down. It doesn't. It's quite linear. Doesn't change that much, apart from that little touch of sweetness in there. Just dials down slightly. 
uh, slight herbalness starts coming in and a slight paleriness. Apart from that, it's it's pretty linear from top to bottom. I don't get much of like um, a woodiness to this. Maybe there's a touch of it in the in the dry down after a few hours. A little slight woodiness comes in, but not really. I mean, this this is a dominant sort of fresh take on an orange blossom. This is like um, a four seven eleven. If you added uh, some herbs and uh, some sweetness. That's what it smells like. So if you've tried 4711, the splash, and it's dominant in its orange blossom smell. Think that with a, a smash a splash of like a plum vibe with some herbs and a slight powderiness. And that's sort of the, the what you get because this is actually still from top to bottom dominant uh, in the orange blossom. So you've got to like orange blossom really to, to love this fragrance, which I do like orange blossom. It's one of my favorite notes. Um, but overall it gives you a nice, now calling it ice, it doesn't necessarily uh, <laughs> doesn't necessarily go icy, you know, anything cold about this. Um, so I don't know really where I was going with that. I, I understand orange blossom can be quite um, bright, so maybe that's where that was coming from, from the, from the name. But I would honestly, ice, not so much, it hasn't got no icy vibe to this. Um, so longevity and projection on my skin is very good it's way above average it's not excellent but it's certainly way above average um, it lasts a good working day uh, it projects really well for many hours and even when it comes down and dries down to the skin it still performs pretty well in its projection um, and again longevity is uh, nothing to worry about with this one now who could wear this well I think anybody could wear this uh, man or, or woman it's got a I would say it's slightly more on the masculine side, but uh, the, the the overall vibe, I would say that yeah, a man or woman could easily pull this off, but it just just go over sort of a couple of percent towards the towards the the masculine. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean anybody could really wear this one. So when would I wear this? Um, this could be dressed up a little bit. Uh, I would say as a, a suggestion. I would say casual to semi formal casual dress uh, I wouldn't necessarily wear this as a, as a proper sort of like it's a wedding or something like that uh, maybe uh, the, the the bride could wear this as a wedding maybe um, but I would say this is a, a casual up to semi casual sort of semi formal uh, where you sort of dressed a bit in between um, but for me I, I don't really dress like that a lot so for me this is a casual scent and it's a casual scent for you could easily wear this all year round um, even in the high heat once you've got past the first hour with that or ramped up sweetness and then it dries down after about an hour you could get away with this in the summer but I would say use it more for a summer night where it's a little cooler uh, and you'd definitely wear this a, a little bit easier uh, that slight sweetness and paleriness uh, might get to you a bit in the high heat but as a su overall suggestion, you could wear this at any time. But I would say it fits spring really well. Spring vibe to it with its its like floral, flowery side to it with this uh, the orange blossom coming through. Orange blossom is a beautiful sort of scent. To, rem to that reminds me when I f as soon as I smell it, it reminds me of a spring scent. Uh, so I would say spring scent, casual, uh, male or female. So overall, I really do uh, actually enjoy this one. It has no resemblance to the Old Palm whatsoever. It is completely its own thing. It has no DNA, apart from maybe that sort of sweetness <laughs> uh, from uh, Yo Palm. The original has nothing to do with it whatsoever. It's, it's completely its own thing. Um, I, I would have thought it's just marketing, putting it in a Yo Palm bottle. Um, it, it's their most selling um, scent Yelp on so if you want to sell something a new scent put it in your Yelp on bottle it's going to get attention you know it's marketing it makes sense but it has nothing it smells nothing to do with uh, Yelp on the original so let me know if you've tried this in the comments below uh, I enjoy this one uh, it's sort of like a ramped up version uh, of 4711 sort of 
um, and I like that scent so I was uh, going to enjoy this one as well of course uh, of course I do um, any comments if you like it if you not like it if you tried it if you're not anything but uh, leave in the comments below I'll answer you as soon as I can so thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it as always and I'll see you again soon on the next video